So last time we tried to do the battery relocation to the back, but we ended up buying the wrong gauge wire. We ended up buying four. So we had to order a new one. This is zero gauge wire. Bought it from Amazon, as you can see. So today we're actually gonna do it. Uh, Sweet so has a fuse already. So we're gonna slap it on right now. This is gonna be our ground. Came with two. Let's see if it reaches all the way in the back. Um, we also bought a box for it, for the battery. Here it is. Um, we bought it at O'Reilly's uh, for like 15, 16 bucks. So I like this one better because it actually has a clip right here. Has a clip. And we bought some terminals. Two terminals, one for the positive, one for the negative. So we're gonna start working on it. Batteries out. It's over here. It's pretty easy. Just size 10 here, size 10 there. Tens on the bracket, and that's it. Uh, battery should slide out. Uh, this is just a cover. So um, I'm just gonna end up cutting these um, and putting the fuse and going all the way to the back. That's gonna be the hardest part, putting that wire through the firewall. And then from there, just take it all the way to the back, ground it somewhere in the back, and we should be able to go. So let's get to it. This gauge has been the hardest one I have ever had to put it inside the firewall. Um, as you can see, it's already in there. I just need to push it in all the way in. All this, little by little I'll get to it, but, oh my God, this was a pain in the butt. So, and I still gotta put all this wire in there. So, the hard part is already done. This is the hardest part you ever have to do, putting it through there to there. After that, this is pretty easy. Um, but let's get back to work. Everything here is done. Just need to put the cover on it and then just put all this wire all through there all the way to the back and see where I put it. So we took off the ground might be able to reuse it in the back already has a terminal so maybe we don't need two terminals so i took off the cover here size 12 uh remove the ecu because um one of them it's pretty hard to get to without removing the ecu and I'll show you guys right now which one it is. So it's this one right here. But with the ECU on there, it covers it up. So you have to remove it. Um, so I'm putting it back together. And then put the battery in the back. Uh, this 
just comes off they're just a bunch of clips and that's it um, that one does have a screw a size 10 over there in the bottom and the paint the next paint is gonna be going from here to the back okay the hardest the second hardest part is already done running it from there all the way to here and then this is where the battery is going to be in this little corner probably going to ground it right there where the struts is at ground it somewhere else too because it has an extra ground um so let's put the battery back here and move the sub to the right and I think I'm going to call it a night. Uh, and I'll finish it off tomorrow morning. So the battery's in the back. Um, I didn't really do a good job. The reason being is because uh, it's getting late. Um, and I need to drive it to the shop. I need some stuff at the shop, like a drill. Um, stuff like that so and then my, my GoPro died so I'm gonna finish it up in the shop do a good job about it I just need it for it to go to the shop and that's it turns on I already tried it on everything's connected turns on so this is not really secured right now but it would do for now until I get it to the shop so we are here at the shop already um, I'm gonna secure the battery good uh, way better than what it is right now. I'm gonna ground the <clears throat> I'm gonna ground it um, better Because I didn't like where it was um, <sighs> As far as that and then I'm gonna bring the amp wire From the front and put it in the back that way it has better contact gets directly from the battery on the front um I didn't like I couldn't put the cover on on this so I need to trim this a little bit trim all trim it a little bit that way the cover could go on and this is the wire that's gonna go directly to the battery instead of being in here so this is the wire that's gonna go directly to the battery and not here so I have to put it all the way over there and then just um, probably gonna end up drilling it somewhere here or just let me see how my wife wants it so that's what I'm gonna do right now so there it is I just had to trim a little bit on the side so this plastic could go in uh, this cover I'm gonna drill it down here this is where my girl wants it so it's gonna be right here and that's what I'm gonna do right now and then transfer this over there so there it is I drilled it it's nice and secure there it's not going anywhere so let's put everything back together so the wires are you all the way over here this is for the amp so I'm able to connect it over here to the power I'm gonna connect it to the power right now uh, and then secure this box and ground that a lot better so the reason why I want a better ground is because I was trying to ground it right here but this is too small so i'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger with the drill um, and ground it right here 
and right there. So we're gonna have two grounds. up stripping the paint off that way it has better contact better ground right here and right here that's where the ground's gonna be so let's put it on so just test it test fitting the battery uh seeing where it's gonna sit Reason being is because the cover takes a little bit of space here. So just test fitting it. This is where it's going to be. I'm going to mark it right now and then drill the straps here. And it's going to be strapped down like this. So <clears throat> that's where it's going to sit. Also, I bought a stabilizer. Osmo uh, for the mobile for the cell phone I'm gonna use it also maybe I could use it for the GoPro so that way we get better footage um, later on I'm gonna buy one for the camera that way the videos come out nicer and smoother I'm gonna try it out later on see how it is I bought this one at Best Buy I paid 130 for it, so we're going to use it right now, in a bit. So let's try to open this up and try it out, see how it is. So this is a pretty cool box, made out of styrofoam. Um, so, let's open it up, and this is what it is. It sucks that it's not black, it's gray, so, this is a version 2, uh, the version 1 came in black, but not that, not as good as this one, usually the first one always has bugs. Looks like we're not using the all small mobile today. Um, battery's dead on it, so I gotta charge it. But I will be in the next video. Uh, that's for sure. So the battery's already in the back. It's already here. It's nice and secure. So that's a good thing. Um, here is what it looks inside the engine bay. Here's the fuse. Nice and secure also. Um, and pretty, pretty, pretty damn easy. Um, later on, next video, I'm probably going to install the C1 strut bars. And we got more carbon fiber parts coming up. So stay tuned. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. And I'm out.